Hey there, today I'm gonna to show you how to create these vertical lines and repeat them using the repeater expression. And I'm gonna show you how to loop it over and over and over again for any one of your comps. And then stay tuned, I'm gonna post other videos after this showing you how you can utilize such an animation and uh, take advantage of it to do some really cool stuff. All right, let's get into it. First thing, create a new comp. I'm gonna call this one lines, hit enter. And first thing we do, click on the rectangle tool and create a rectangle. If for some reason the rectangle isn't showing up, that means that you have the mask triggered. So just click on the star over here and you're gonna have the uh, create shape tool activated. Okay, so the size and width doesn't really matter. Uh, you can set that up in your, as your preference, whatever size you want. And I'm gonna go into my align panel, align this to the left of the composition. Then I am going to click here. You're gonna to want to open this up and click add and we're gonna hit repeater, and it's gonna do exactly what it sounds like, repeat things. We'll open up repeater, um, add a bunch of copies to it. All right, that looks okay. And uh, what I'm trying to achieve is a perfect loop and with the least amount of effort possible and keeping the comp size um, short. I've created enough copies so that when I drag this back, there'll still be lines showing up. So uh, what I want to do is bring my line right up to here. Um, and what I'm going to do right now is hit Control R to bring up my rulers. And I've done this a couple of times and sometimes the loop works, sometimes I have a hard time. I found that the easiest way to make it loop perfectly is to bring up a couple of guides here, and line them up like that, grab a second one and line it up here. So I'll show you in a second what that's gonna do. But uh, first you wanna open up the transform down here of rectangle one, and we're going to hit the stopwatch on our position, making sure that our cursor um, was at the beginning of the timeline when we hit the stopwatch. And I'm gonna bring this all the way to one second here. And I'm going to click on the position here and drag until I have another group of lines that line up to my guides, like so. All right, so now I'm gonna drag this out here. This is the work area bar. I'm gonna bring my cursor back to the, or the marker back to the front and hit the space bar. And now you've got yourself a perfect loop, yay. All right, so once we have that, we have our comp that, uh, our lines comp, perfect loop. It's about a second long. So uh, right click on your work area bar and we're gonna click on trim comp to work area. So now the entire comp size is a second long, uh, the exact amount of time that uh, my loop is going on. Next, we're gonna create another comp. So I right click, create new comp and we're gonna call this one the loop. And we're gonna go into our loop comp, uh, click on lines here and drag this in. And the reason I'm doing that is just to show you an easy way to loop the loop uh, because right now it's only one minute. All right, to create the loop here on your timeline, very easy. We just click here, right click, Go to time, enable time remapping. Then um, we just hit alt on the stopwatch and click, and then type in loop out. 
and this thing's just going to loop out. And right now it's going to stop here, but you can click here, drag it all the way to wherever you want it to go, and it'll create a perfect loop that repeats over and over and over again. I don't know if you caught that, but there is a glitch here where there's one frame that just doesn't show up for some reason. And it creates this uh, split second where you get, uh, you know, the lines disappear. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm going to hit undo here, control Z. And we're going to do the same thing, but I found this trick or hack to solve that. So once we enable time remapping, you're going to go one frame back. And keep in mind, this doesn't always happen, but uh, in case it happens to you, this is how you fix it. So we're going to create another keyframe, one frame behind this one. And you double click on this keyframe and you hit zero and then delete it. And you bring this keyframe back. And now I'm going to click on Alt, the stopwatch and do the same thing, boom. And then that glitch is gone. I don't know why that happens, but that is how you fix it. That's how you accomplish the uh, repeating lines with a repeater and looping it out like that. Uh, it comes with its advantages here. Uh, you can very easily lengthen or slow down your your loop if you wanted to by just clicking and dragging this keyframe here. I've extended it to two seconds and now you're going to see it's much slower. Right? And if you wanted to slow it down even more, you could put it to four, six seconds, you get the point and you can make it even faster as well. Just like that. Well, there you have it. That's how you create some repeating vertical lines and animate them into a loop. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video. See ya.